Hi, my name is Adam Whitmer. I am the founder and host here at ComplianceCohort.com. Now this compliance clip is going to focus on beneficial ownership requirements for schools and school corporations. So our question is, do the ultimate beneficial ownership rules apply to schools and school corporations? Now, of course, the answer is going to depend upon the type of school or school corporation we are dealing with. So let's take a look at the beneficial ownership rules for uh, whether they are a for-profit school, a non-profit school, or a public entity. Now, if we have a for-profit school, there are no exemptions or exclusions and the full beneficial ownership rules apply. So basically, you're going to treat a for-profit school just like any other business because it is a for-profit corporation and therefore there's no exemptions whatsoever and you have to do the full beneficial ownership verification. Now, if the school is a non-profit school, what we have to determine is for the, how the partial exemption applies is to see if this is a actual nonprofit corporation or an unincorporated association. Now, typically a school is going to be a nonprofit corporation. So in this case, the nonprofit is going to have the control prong be applicable to this rule. Now, if the school corporation or the school, on the other hand, is a public entity, like a public school, then the government exclusion is going to apply. And under the government exclusion, it says any entity established under the laws of the United States of any state or of any public subdivision of any state or under any interstate compact between two or more states that exercises government authority on behalf of the United States or in any such state or political subdivision. So basically, if your school corporation has the ability to tax, then they are going to be exempt from beneficial ownership rule requirements as well as CIP and other BSA requirements as well. So, it, so when we're dealing with the school and dealing with beneficial ownership requirements, we have to understand what type of entity we're dealing with. Are we dealing with a for-profit entity, a non-profit entity? And if it's the, the non-profit's an unincorporated association for whatever reason, that would be different rules than for a non-profit corporation. And also, is it a public entity which would fall under the the government exclusion so that is how we deal with schools and school corporations for beneficial ownership requirement that's all i have for you today for this compliance clip for those of you who are members thank you much so much for watching for those of you who may not be members uh, take a look at our site at compliancecohort.com we actually have a free membership where we have compliance clips just like this one we also have a bunch of free videos, a bunch of other resources available for free for our members, so you can consider signing up there. Otherwise, if I don't see you again, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. My favorite Truman Show quote, so see you later.